the second. Um, already seen one good buck this morning, but it was right at shooting light, and I went and passed him at 30 yards. Um, just wasn't quite what I was looking for. We got a CRP timber back behind me, and I've got uh, wheat and turnips out in front of me. And uh, from what it sounds like, from a text I got, they're up and moving. So uh, we'll see what decides to come through here today. All right, so this is a terribly informal um, closing interview. I didn't get one done in the field, um, but what I'm dealing with is a low shot and back. Um, if you see in the video, he ducks and turns quite a bit, and that arrow is in the guts, um, sad to say. Um, the most ethical, ethical thing you can do that I did and was just straight back out. I backed out, we decided let's give it 24 hours, and I called in a dog. So I got a dog gonna be here at 9 a.m. Um, the following day, and um, that's the best that we can do. And we're gonna see what he does. The guy is tremendous, uh, Doug Fink with non-typical deer recovery. We're gonna see what he can do for us, and uh, hopefully his dog Cash can get the job done. So uh, stick with us, we'll see what he can do. Cash heel. Sit. You never noticed any hair. I I didn't. I came I came out. This and you guys way walked, and just, out just way. walked out that way. Walked out that way because the truck was back there. 
So I'll probably search him in this area and see. Okay, that's fine. Uh, and he may have picked the arrow here very shortly, but when he turned left, I couldn't see the arrow anymore. Yeah, I'm sure. All right, we'll see if he picks up anything. Cash here. Find it. He come right through here. Um, came from that tree over there that's got the rub on it. Uh -huh. He came right through here. And he was going this way when I shot. Slightly quartered away, right? Yeah, quartered away going this way. Find it. There we go. There we go. Find it. <laughs> kind of walk off to the side until we know for sure. Yeah. Kind of. Yeah.
It's a good boy. <laughs> good boy. <laughs> good boy. Good boy. <laughs> Congratulations. Oh <laughs> Good boy. Good boy. Oh. Good boy. Yeah, that's a pretty open though. Yeah. He, he circled back, didn't he? He's been dead for a while now, hasn't he? Uh, I don't know where we're going. Hell of a joke. Yeah, we did. Good boy. Good boy. You got him, Dad. Yeah. So you got a radio? Hey, no. we got him right here. Right here. Right. I'm back from my Illinois trip, back down here in Tennessee with my wife. I uh, wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about the shot and the process that we did to get to the deer. Um, I apologize for not doing a closing interview in the field, uh, but we wanted to get that deer taken care of. It was starting to get kind of warm and I'm um, already dealing with the gut shot. Get it cleaned out as quick as possible and get it started taken care of. Um, we did a, were able to get a few pictures. I'll put those towards the end. Um, so that deer obviously was a just straight gut shot. Um, quartering away, I was able to get quite a bit through the guts, um, and so it did enough damage, obviously. Uh, but that deer went 700 yards to its first bed, um, where we found it, and um, given it the proper amount of time, and luckily it didn't get bumped. By the time we got to the deer, it was 26 hours later, um, but it went 700 yards to its first bed and using Doug Fink with non-typical deer recovery, his dog Cash was able to find that deer in 17 minutes. That's how long the GoPro start to finish. That's what it was. Um, truly incredible. I can honestly tell you, I don't think I would have found that deer without their help. Um, run through flooded timber, uh, chest high cockabers and very, very little blood. Um, I was able to recover this deer. Super happy to have my hands on him and um, can't stress enough to give proper time to a gut shot deer or a deer that you think is a marginal hit. Um, so that's what I wanted to close up with. But thanks for watching, guys, and check us again next.